guys so this is more of an opinion video so out of it out of my head I have a little bit of bullet points but it's nothing scripted or anything but I have gotten your feedback on my other videos and I am gonna work on those so thank you guys and um, but this video is more of my tips for gaming like I'm no expert at all and this is just from my experience and what I need to work on so we could you know game better stuff like that to help but this is more of my tips for that um yeah okay let's get started so first one is pick the gaming platform for you you just just you and don't feel pressured especially with the pc no hate to the pc master race but um do what you game on the platform you want to game on do your research find out what's right for you don't let anyone give you hate for gaming on a console or gaming solely on pc don't let anybody like hate that you game on all of them just find the stuff that's right for you because at the end of the day you're just playing for yourself so don't don't feel pressured into going into PC gaming, especially when you're not ready and it, you know, it doesn't turn out right. And same for consoles, like, don't just go with the trends. Don't just say, oh, I'm going to buy a PlayStation because Xbox are, like, doing bad. Just analyze the situation and, like, pick the platform that's right for you. And... Taking opinions is also great, but don't let it, like, like, pressure you into anything. So, that's just me on that. And second is, um, don't do pre-orders. I fell into this trap so many times. Don't do pre-orders. Don't pre-order season passes, especially. That one's a big one. Because I have the season pass for Destiny 2 and I haven't touched it in months. So that was a huge waste of money. I mean, the games you obviously are going to love like Mario and Zelda. Of course you could pre-order those. And, but other than that, don't pre-order games. Like, even if they have like a pre-order incentive, like, Think about it, like, really think about it for yourself, because pre-ordering a game kind of falls into my next tip, but, um, which is, patience is a virtue, which I said on Twitter, and it's true, patience in the gaming industry is a virtue, it's not only in real life, it's in the gaming industry, like, um, either it's with waiting for a game to come out, or, I'm looking at you, Square Enix, or, you gotta know like what games would go on sale later like for me i got the new 3dx xl when they only had black and red if i had waited a few months and just kept my old 3ds i would have had the option to pick multiple colors the pikachu one even a 2ds which is cheaper so that's the thing you gotta like you gotta think for yourself when to wait and when to buy and to me it's like it's something i'm trying to be better at because oftentimes i buy a game and like f a few weeks and then it, it would be on sale like what the fuck like well this one wasn't really patience but i bought bloodborne for the playstation and then a, a week later it was on sale like i was like what the fuck same thing happened to rocket league but you know just gauge for yourself which games you could wait on that are not like as important and which ones will probably be on sale same thing goes for the season pass. Wait till like a review comes out for it or there's more information on it. 
so yeah that's that and um but again it's up to you it's just my recommendation it's just I've been burnt by pre-orders and not waiting so many times that I, I just got sick of it well Nintendo games usually don't go on sale but now that they have the Nintendo selects I don't know so Nintendo is kind of tricky but with other titles just gauge for yourself when you could wait and, when, and then to buy especially season passes like I haven't touched Destiny in forever okay so that's that and my next tip is be more active in the gaming community and this ties in with everything else you can like learn a lot from other people by word of mouth word of mouth is is like the best you know way to to know something and it's you you're in a community you feel like um you feel like you can make friends and everybody's um having their inputs and you can have differing opinions but you, you, you know, it's like part of a community. You find the people who you like or the people who you don't like. <laughs> like, it's like that. So, yeah. Just be more active in the gaming community. Check the news. Check, like, like the Twitters that focus on news and see what's out. And that could help you with the savings because oftentimes things fly under the radar if you know someone didn't post like a sale like stuff like that because usually they're one step ahead of you so you know try to spread the news when you see it like for instance playstation sales on the playstation store i always retweet those and like you know circulate them so other people can know and you can know there's a lot of stuff you can find out so and another tip, be yourself. This is important. Be yourself. Don't just like something because other people like it or vice versa. You know it. You know the drill. Just be yourself. Don't try to be any... Don't try to be someone you're not. I fell into this one a lot, like, in the early days. Like, I used to be, like, you know, go with the flow go with everybody like I used to be um ashamed that I like Nintendo so much and like I used to try to like hide that don't do that don't it's only hurting yourself and chances are like people don't care <laughs> like for real they don't care like just be yourself people will like you for that like being fake is something that a lot of people don't like, so just be yourself, and you'll attract the people you want to attract, and, you know, people go away, but they will respect you for being yourself, because, you know, that's who you are, so try to be yourself, that's something I'm working on, I'm, I struggle with it as at some time sometimes I don't want to say anything because I don't want to cause drama or I don't want to you know have I'm afraid that people will like not like me but you just got to step back and say this is what I think this is me this is what I'm gonna say don't don't constantly think that other people won't like you if they don't like you so what so what like um just it's better to just be yourself put the stuff you want to put out don't try to please people because at the end of the day you're gonna spiral into this sadness because you're not being who you are so you're gonna be having this persona online and just be like you can't say anything i've had that feeling where I have an idea or something, an opinion that I want to say, but I know it might cause drama, so I don't say it. But I've learned that that's not the way to go because it's going to come out somehow and then people are going to think you're fake. So that's that. Be yourself. I'm sorry I rambled on that one, but 
it's important. You probably all know, but just reminding you, reminding myself. And last but not least, have fun. Like, just have fun gaming. Like, gaming is, a f like, really fun. Just have fun. Let go. Don't be so pressured into graphics. Don't be so pressured into news. Don't be so pressured into, you know, the the stigma behind something. Just enjoy the game. Enjoy your time with it. Like, this is really important because oftentimes in the gaming community, you see all this negativity towards games, but people really love games, so it's kind of confusing, but just learn how to let go of all that and enjoy your game for you. Just have fun. Even have fun with others, because probably other people like it, but just have fun. Don't pressure yourself into not liking something because it's freaking 30 FPS, like... So what? If it if it functions, it functions. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. Like, it doesn't matter if it's 60 or 4K or 1080. Well, it should be 1080p, but... Um, like that, don't focus on the specs. If you're enjoying the game and someone comes and tells you, Oh, it's 30 FPS, you should be like, okay okay like you were enjoying the game a second ago there's no reason that someone should come and tell you oh it's it's 30 fps that's bad and then it should change your opinion about the game no just enjoy it enjoy your time people like the best like advice i would give is just you know graphics and stuff and specs and stuff are important they are but you gotta learn how to let go and just enjoy the game for what it is. Not for, you know, it's not 60 FPS, 1080p on max settings. Like, example is Monster Hunter. Like, some people debating and go 60, some people say it's 30, some say it's 45 FPS. And I'm just like, it's an awesome game. Because <laughs> it is. It's just an awesome game. There's no reason that that changing the number of FPS or looking at videos that have like the graphics thing on side by side to like don't let that ruin your experience. Like it's important for other people, but for you if you're loving the game don't let someone roll in saying, oh, it's not max settings, 60 FPS, therefore you're having a shitty time. No, that doesn't change that. You're having an amazing time. You're fucking hunting monsters. Like, when you're in the game, you don't think about those stuff. So just, like, from my opinion, just have fun. And I think, you know, you'll enjoy games more because often people sometimes become cynical of games but um so what i'm just saying is just you know have fun <laughs> and learn how to let go in some cases like learn how to just let the game be what it is if you enjoy it don't let anybody say that you're playing an inferior version even if you are to you it's fun. To you, it's the best version because it's your experience. So, yeah. That's all I have to say. I hope you guys like my ramble or whatever opinion piece. It, this is just um, my tips that I need to work on. And I thought I might share with you guys because, you know, it might help. It might not. But I hope you guys like the video. So, if you do... Please leave a like, um, please leave a comment, uh, please reach me on my Twitter if you can, which is Mandy Lee Plays, and, you know, have fun playing. Bye.